This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this video, we are taking on Vardorvis with the goal of receiving the Executioner's Axe Head. This is the start of my collection log, meaning if I lose this challenge, I will end at 1256 KC. Melee is the most efficient way of defeating Vardorvis, so I've decided to go with Full Torva and Anos Mountain's Fang for its insane accuracy and consistency. And finally, there is actually a PVM boss where the Ancient God Sword is extremely useful at, so in this video, we will be using it. First kill of the grind, what are we going to get? Uh, 67 adamant ore, I'll take it, pretty decent first drop. And of course the loot tracker has been added, 2kc so far, and we have made 79k. Oh, no way! I've done 3kc and we already have the first awakener's orb. These are 1 in 80 from Vardorve, so that is ridiculously lucky. Wait, hold on, 120 mind runes? 240 GP, I feel like that is not the best drop you could get. I usually like to do a one hour timer to see how many kills I can get to kind of calculate how long the grind is going to be. And that is the end of the hour, 31 kills. The kills are very fast, you can see like 130, 150, 116. So overall, if I go on rate, this is like 35 hour long grind. <gasps> oh my god! No way! This early? 35kc, the best Virtus piece! I've not seen any Virtus piece ever. The drop rate of this specific one is like 1 in 3.3 thousand. That is ridiculous. Let's put it into the GE and see what it sells for. Insta sold 47.5 million GP. We've already made 52 million on the tracker. Uh, not worth anything, but uh, Blood Quartz, that is the upgrade for the Ancient Scepter. Already have this one actually, but it's 1 in 200, so I guess pretty rare. Second Awakener's Orb, not sure how many of these I will actually record, probably not that many, because I'll probably get a lot of them, but yeah, I'll take the 3 million GP drop. Dude, what is going on? Another Blood Quartz? Look at my KC counter, 62, and how many uniques have I been getting? Okay, this has to stop. What is what is happening? I've got three Blood Quartz in 77 KC. I'm not showing these anymore. Okay, we have the first Clue Skull. It's an easy one you can get from easy two elites from this. They're all 1 in 160, so basically getting any Clue Skull is 1 in 40. It is really wild how much money I've made so far. Of course, Virtus Peace and the Awakening Orb is most of that, but 100kc done, first bigger milestone, 57 million GP. That's 570k per kill. That is a good drop to get a perfect kill on. That usually is 90 Onyx Bolts, but because we got a perfect kill, 50% more loot, so 90. I will take that. First hard clue scroll of the grind. I should probably mark that as well. And the first elite of the grind, actually getting quite a lot of clue scrolls now. Good morning everyone, it is now day 2 of the grind and I have been keeping a close eye on the price of the Soul Reaper Axe during this entire time because this is the best in slot weapon for Vardorvis and it seems to have finally stabilized around 670 million GP, so it's quite a lot of money, it's basically all the money that I have, but I'm going to try, and we actually instantly bought it. I'm going to try this. It's hopefully very good. It has no charges or anything, and uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. This weapon is really unique. The special attack bar for this weapon is replaced with a 5 stack system. When you hit an enemy with an axe, you take 8 damage and gain 1 stack. Each stack makes you deal 6% more damage up to 30% at 5 stacks. And at 5 stacks you no longer take damage when hitting an enemy. These stacks can also be used as a special attack, dealing increased damage depending on how many stacks you unleash. When releasing the stacks you also heal yourself for the damage you took to get those stacks. Luckily the stack system is completely separate to actual special attack, so I can still use my Ancient God Sword as my special attack weapon. I have now played around with the axe for a bit and I have to say I am not a big fan of it, I know it's probably because I'm bad at using it, but it's also extremely volatile right now, losing a lot of value, and I don't feel like it's vastly better than the Asmontan's Fang, if even at all. 
There's two downsides to the axe, I would say. The accuracy being the first one. The fang hits pretty much all the time on Vardorvis. Meanwhile, the axe can miss consistently. And the second thing is the extra damage that you take. You can probably reduce this by using the special attack efficiently, but I just cannot really get used to it. When it comes to kill times, the axe can get faster kills sometimes to like 115, 120, but most of the time it's actually like 2 minutes. Meanwhile, the fang is more consistently 130, 140. After doing around 15 kills with the axe, I decided to sell it back because I was just not having great results with it. I can imagine if you're really good at using the axe and you also might have the Bellator ring, you can make really good use of this. And we lost around 12 million from buying and selling the axe. We have now been back to using the fang for quite a while and I do prefer this way more than the Soul Reaper axe. But that is now 300 KZ done and 72 million GP earned so far. That is kind of crazy. Unfortunately, I have not been able to do too many kills today. It is very late already. I've been very busy today, but that is KC number 400 and I did it for like six hours today. And tomorrow we have a new day with a lot of time to get many kills done. It is update day today and they actually changed one major thing about Vardorvis fight and that is the projectile from the small minion. It is now green instead of blue to indicate that you have to protect ranged and not magic. Oh shit. No! Oh my god. Okay, I have not really shown too many of the deaths, but uh, there's definitely plenty of them. I'm not entirely sure how many deaths I had on this board when we began, but it seems like I'm dying like every 15 kill, so it's been quite a lot of deaths. I've only been here for around 3 hours today and I've already done 100 KC, so we have been zooming. And of course, that is 500 KC done with nearly 90 million GP made so far. Pretty much half of that is from the Virtus top, but uh, pretty good loot overall anyways. Oh my god, these just keep going up in price so much. I think this is my number 8th one, and they are now 3.5 million GP each. Hey, Awakener's Orb number 10 Ooh. finally. Look how much this is going up in price. It's nearly 4 million GP. Oh my god. You take max damage from that? You just get one shot? Uh, okay, that's the first time I died from failing it. I thought I could kill it before the animation, but guess not. You know, after this one, I'm at 600 KC, and I feel like I have been lucky by getting the Virtus top, but uh, I haven't seen a single Chromium ingot, and on top of that, it's been a while now since I got anything as we got the Virtus top so early. I'm really hoping to get the ring, but I'll go for 700 on day 3 now. As long as we don't get mind runes on this kill or javelins, I think we need 15k. Yeah, that's 100 million now on the loot tracker. Kind of crazy in 653 Vardorvis. We've done a bit more than halfway, but still, this amount of money is just insane. No way. Yo, we actually got the Altor Vestige. That is the ring. Which I think is like one of the most expensive items or the expensive ring from all the different rings. I think the Bellator ring from the Whisperer is more expensive, but let's go! Now, because I haven't got any Chromium ingots from this grind so far, I have to buy all of them. They're pretty cheap though, you need three of them and that is 1.6 million GP. And also you need to buy the Berserker ring for 2 million GP, so now I should have everything to actually make the ring. This is the process you need to go through to actually make the altar ring. First you need to use the chisel on the Berserker ring, and as soon as you have this Berserker icon you talk to Pierre the Seer, you now get an additional option. Can you help me with combining some items? You press that and you basically just spacebar through everything as always you do in RuneScape. And after a while, you can now actually make the ring. And you do that by using the vestige on the berserker icon, combining it with 500 blood runes, and we now have the altar icon. After that, we go to a furnace, click smelt, we have the three chromium ingots, and also the ring mold. Press yes, and there we go, that is the altar ring. This is actually, luckily, one of the most expensive rings of them all currently, 131 million GP. I'm going to try to insta-sell it for 130, and I'll just leave it in there for a bit. 
Yeah, that took basically no time at all. Like one minute, 128.7 million GP made from just that ring after tax. Kind of wild. That means so far we have made 228.7 million GP. And we still have like... 400 KC left on the grind potentially. As the loot tracker is not tracking the value of the altar ring as the vestige has no value, I decided to actually take all the money that I sold the Virtus top 4 and the altar ring, turn it into platinum tokens and put it into the loot tab. So we can now see I've made 234 million GP. So we also have 5 elite caskets, 5 hards and 5 easy. No mediums, surprisingly. But we have 10 awakeners orbs and also 8 blood quartz. So I've actually been kind of lucky on those as well. Not that I need them, but I guess it's cool. And here we go. This is going to be the end of day 3 of the grind after I get this kill. If I can just do one more damage. 700 KC done. We did 300 kills just today. It's very late, so I guess it's time for me to go to bed, and tomorrow my goal is going to be maybe to finish the grind, 1088, or get the axe piece. That is going to be quite a long day. I wanted to start off the fourth day just looking at the current price of the Soul Reaper axe. Look at this, 310 million GP. Just look at this insane graph. This is where I bought it on August 9th. Two days later, or I guess one la day later, 410 million. I could have lost 200 million right after the clip where I bought the Soul Reaper Axe. Lucky I sold it almost right away. I could have lost 300 million if I kept it for two days. And today is the day we are going to be finishing this grind. It is either going to be like a 12-hour day of just killing Vardorvis to reach 1,088 on the counter, or we just get spooned on the axe piece. We will have to see what the results are going to be. Oh, what a strong start to the day. All right, we're coming up on the first milestone for today. 800 kill counts and we get uncut diamonds. Pretty good drop, I would say. We have diligently been keeping up the pace for day number four to finish the grind. And that is 900 KC. We're roughly like seven hours into this day. And I have 188 kills left or get the axe piece. And I think I should be able to do that before I go to bed. So let's keep the pace up or be lucky. Ooh, it only took 999 kills for the first medium clue scroll of the grind. I feel like this has to be Ranger Boots at this point. And of course, I have to catch the 1000 KC mark on video as well after this one. And we have, of course, not seen the Executioner's Axe Head just yet. There it is, 1000 kills, 138 million GP gain so far. And it is uh, quite a big risk right now for the giveaway. Another Awakener's Orb, 3.06 million GP. I see they're losing value quite a lot, but uh, I haven't sold any of them, so I guess I'll just have to take the hit on that. Now that I'm so close to the end, it's actually so nerve-wracking. I only have 50 more kills to do, and I think every single time there's a boss that's about to die, this could be it. If I get the axe piece, if I see it on the ground, I get to keep like 150 million I don't have to give away. So, I mean, I would love to see it at this point. We're getting pretty close to the end, so it seems unlikely, but uh, every time the boss dies, there is a chance. With only 10 more kills left to go, after this one, the most shocking thing on this entire grind is not that I've only got one medium clue scroll, it's that I've got zero chromium ingots. And we get a supply drop, so it keeps being the case. 10 more kills, and we might have gone 1,088 kill count without a single chromium ingot. 1,086 for bronze, bronze javelins. 1,087 kill count for some rubies. It has been a very long last day here for the grind on Vardorvis, and this is the last one. After this one, this is the last loot we're getting. Uncut diamonds for 1,088 kill count. Did like 14, maybe 13 and a half hours of our Dorvis today to finish this. And the verdict is in. We are doing a massive giveaway. Recently, Jagex actually added this chest right here, which you can open using the leftover quartz that you collect from the new bosses. And as we got eight from Vardorvis... We have quite a lot of them to open. So let's go ahead and open all of them. This is of course going to be counted into the giveaway as well. And the loot that you get from this is, as you can see, actually pretty good. And down to the last one for some blood runes. The overall value of this is 1.175 million. Lastly, we have an overall of 24 clue scrolls to open. So let's begin with the easy ones and see what we get.
And we already have a collection log item, and I'm going to be going through these pretty quickly, and of course only really stopping if we get a master clue scroll. And that is all the easy ones, this is the loot we got from these. And for the mediums, we only got one of them, of course, and we get a collection log slot. Not worth too much, though. Seven hearts, this is where we can start getting the master clue scrolls, and of course, we get one right away. Man, I've dropped so many masters because of this step. 87 herb lore. I'm just going to go and get it. 681,000 herb lore experience later. That is 83 herb lore. And if we now boost, we can actually make this potion. Master completed. Let's continue the opening. And that is the last hard clue scroll. This is everything that I got from hard clues. Pretty good chance of getting masters from the elite. So let's go ahead and open them. 153k. Hey, Royal Scepter. Not worth too much, but uh, accidentally clicked that. 146k, 111k, and the last one is 280k. This is all the loot we got from the elites. So let's go ahead and open the last one, the Master Casket for absolutely mediocre loot i have now sold everything and we have the numbers for how big the giveaway is going to be for this video the answer is 133.5 million gp so if you want to participate on this massive giveaway how you do that is on the screen right now good luck to you all